Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back. It feels like ages since I've done a haul. It's only been two weeks. I was away at uh, Coachella for 10 days. Had so much fun. If you haven't watched my Coachella vlog, that's up on my channel now. I can see that you're really enjoying the hauls, which is really good because I enjoy shooting them as well. So I was thinking, okay, what am I gonna do this week? So I actually had a lot of River Island stuff. I did a collaboration with them at Coachella. This isn't sponsored, this video isn't sponsored, but I do have a few bits, kind of festival pieces that I picked out before. Some of them that are on loan that I'm gonna return after. Some that I wore. I have some bits that I bought like last month that are still on the site. And I have some stuff that I bought this week that is new and still on the site. So I just wanted to kind of gather it all together and show you as much as I can. A lot of it's kind of like summery and um, some kind of spring pieces but I think you'll like it lots of like nice suits some sequins nice colors it's so nice to bring bright colors back into my wardrobe again but we have a lot to get through I actually have probably more than I've ever done in a haul so um, I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna link everything below so if you're wondering about the price or anything like that every, all the details will be in the link so just check the description box actually one more thing before I dive in if you haven't subscribed do subscribe because I have done loads of these hauls and I'm going to be doing loads more and if you want to keep up to date on what's new and different styles and fashion tips and stuff then definitely subscribe. Okay our first outfit is this fab sequins kind of blouse. It's oversized I would say and it's got little hooks at the front you can't even see the buttons so what I did was I unhooked a few and tucked one side into these shorts. These are the Annie shorts and I absolutely love River Island for their denim. I find them so comfy. My shorts that I go back to every year are River Island. My denims that I go back to every winter are River Island. I just find them really good quality, very affordable, comfy to wear and the size fits really well as well. So this, these, I always get a size 8 in everything. Everything I'm going to show you is a size 8. Um, I'd like to say it's true to size but I'd say it's a small bit generous because I'd sometimes be in between sizes, but I'm always an Asian River Island, which is so nice because it means that I can order online and just be sure that it's gonna fit. So yeah, I've paired these together and I just love these. I think this could kind of be dressy or it could be daytime. Um, if you paired it with a pair of heels, it could be a night out outfit. Just love bringing the sequins into my wardrobe for summer because I think normally we think they're for winter, we think they're for Christmas, but it's nice to see them being brought into your wardrobe for summer as well, for spring, summer. Next up, if you follow me on social media, I'll put my handle here on it, my Instagram handle, you know that I love a good suit and River Island are the best on the high street for suits, I'm going to say it. They really are, when you consider the quality, the price, the variety of styles that they have, uh, I just go back to them always for their, for their suits. So this is a gorgeous short suit, I just paired it with a white crop top, this one's from Topshop, but River Island have loads them as well. The shorts are kind of paper bag style. Really flattering, not too tight on the waist, and it's got a belt as well. And then the blazer, which could probably do with an iron, has got a really nice collar detail, and the material is so nice and thick. And I just love the powder blue as well, I just think it's really nice for spring, summer. This is something that I think looks chic, it looks sophisticated, it can be dressy if you wanted to kind of go for dinner in it or something like that, but it also can be worn during the day um, more casually with a t shirt or something like that. So I love that. Um, and actually, before I move on, I'm going to show you something, another suit that I had from River Island that I wore at the start of March on the cruise trip that I went on, so on the cruise ship that I went on, sorry. So this suit is kind of like Chanel inspired. They're kind of similar, so that's why I wanted to show you because this one is still on the side as well. But um, I think this one is a little bit more classic. You can see the button details and I just love this. This is something that will stay in my wardrobe forever. And the great thing about suits is you can wear them separately as well. So I have a pair of shorts here. I could pair this with a t-shirt in the summer. I could pair it with a cami top. And then the blazer, you could put over a pair of work trousers. You could put over a pair of leggings with a nice kind of cute top or bodysuit or something inside as well. So I just wanted to link those because they're another option um, if you do prefer this style. Next up is this jumpsuit that I picked up yesterday and I just love this. The material is so soft, so comfy. And you've got this belt detail as well with the tortoise shell buttons. This is something that I could just totally see myself wearing in the summer and on holidays. It's kind of a little bit cropped on me, but I don't know if that's because I'm tall. But I don't actually mind the length, I think it looks nice. It looks kind of casual. For me, this would definitely be a daytime outfit. And I just love the colour. The pink is gorgeous as well, really nice on Irish skin tones. Really, Actually nice on most skin tones because... 
you know, these kind of neutral pastel tones do suit a lot of people. But yeah, I just love this. I love that you've got the belt detail to kind of cinch in your waist and give you a little bit of shape. And the triangle neck, very flattering and very comfy to wear. My next outfit is probably one of my favourites. I'm actually going to say that it is my favourite. This polka dot suit. I think I'm going to wear this tonight for dinner. I absolutely love this. And when I first saw it, I didn't think I'd love it as much as I do. I love it on. I just think it's really classic. Uh, again, it's a suit, so I'm always kind of partial to a suit. But I don't normally go for polka dots because I think they're quite a big statement. But again, it is a timeless trend that doesn't really go out of fashion. And I think in the summer with the tan, the black and white just really looks good with the tan. I paired this with a bodysuit, which is, I'm pretty sure it's just from pennies. But you could wear it with a black crop top, a black tank top. Um, so many different things. A white tank top. There's a lot you could do with that. Red, a red tank top. But um, yeah, I just love this. I think it's, again, it's like another piece that can be dressy or can be more casual. And it's great for like if you have trips coming up during the summer, city breaks and stuff that you want nice outfits for that are going to be comfy to wear and still stylish. Suits are a great option. Okay, next up we have a swimsuit. I didn't actually get a chance to wear this um, when I was over in LA. I wore it before LA when I was down in Killarney. Um, but I love this. This is probably my favourite swimsuit that I had with me. But we didn't actually get as many pool days as I thought. I love the tie around detail. The tie around kind of swimsuits are so on trend at the moment. And River Island just do them for such a good price. Normally they, they can be quite expensive. I love the black. I love where it kind of sits. Um, it's really flattering on, you know, if you don't feel comfortable in a two piece or if you kind of just want something that's a little bit more different, a little bit stylish, this is a great option. I love it. Okay, moving on to this outfit. This is kind of like a festival style outfit. The bandana is actually from the men's section of River Island. And then I have a bikini top, which I got as an option. This was like an option for my Coachella outfits. And then again, we have the Annie shorts. They're the same as the denim ones that I had shown you previously, but they're in black. Um, although I did find these ones a small bit tighter, but it's fine. I mean, it's probably just the after holidays. After holidays bulge. <laughs> I'm trying to cut back a little bit this week after all the indulging while I was away. And then over that I have this khaki kind of jacket. I wouldn't even call it a jacket. Top, blouse. It's quite light. It's um, a shirt, black, a khaki shirt. Um, I just think it's really kind of cool, casual, fun, um, and a little bit edgy as well if you wanted something kind of a little bit more, a little different than your usual festival style. This could be a good option. and. This khaki shirt you could wear in so many different ways. You could wear with the casually with a pair of jeans. You could wear with the, the blue denim shorts. You could wear with the black shorts as I paired it here. There's so many different options. And I think that's really important when you're buying to think, okay, I'm, I'm gonna wear it for this festival, but what else can I wear it for? Because you wanna get as much wear out of things that you're investing in. You know, you don't wanna get something and be like, have it sit there for six months unworn. So yeah, I do try and bear that in mind when I'm shopping. Okay, my next outfit is this floral two-piece. I love this. I got this yesterday. Uh, I love the kind of the way the shorts fall. They've got kind of a ruffle detail on the end and they've got a belt and they're stretchy at the back, so really comfy to wear. And then the blouse is oversized. I tied it up as a, sh like as a crop top. I kind of just tied it up at the front, unbuttoned a few buttons. But you also could tuck it into the shorts. And when you do that, it almost looks like a play suit, which is really nice as well. I love the print, you've got kind of orange tones, green tones, neutral tones, so there is a lot of accessories that you can mix and match with that as well. You could wear nude sandals, black, white, red, orange, which is great because when you're packing for holidays you don't always get to bring your full selection of pieces, so it's good to have, I don't know, stuff that you can kind of mix and match a lot with. But this is a great option, very comfy, the top is oversized, the um, shorts have elastic on the back. So if you are going out for a nice meal on holidays, this could be a really nice option. And I think even for like a night out with a pair of heels, it you know could be a little bit more dressy as well. So yeah, I love this. And again, this is a cord, so these both could be worn separately. This with a white or black top, and this with denim shorts, black shorts, you know, a white skirt. There's so many different outfit options you can get from just these two pieces. Okay, next up we have a more dressy outfit two-piece 
Uh, as I said earlier, sequins aren't just for Christmas and it's really nice to see them kind of come into summer, especially with the light and stuff when the sequins hit the light. It's just so pretty. It'd be perfect if you have any like party coming up, any special occasion. And again, these two are pieces, I pair them together here, but to be honest, I could see them being worn separately so many different ways. This with a pair of shorts, this with a nice dress inside it. It's a kimono essentially, so there's a lot you can do with that. You can throw it over nearly anything. And then the trousers would be lovely with a crop top, a plain tank, a plain cami. And from, on me now, these are a little bit short, but again, I am 5'10", so I guess I'm a little bit on the taller side. On anyone who's a little bit shorter than me, they'd probably be a perfect length. But on the kimono as well, you have these kind of hook details you can clasp it up as much as you'd like or as little as you'd like which is nice as well and again these are both size 8 and I'll link them both below okay now we're moving on to my Coachella outfit I'm not going to try this on because I've already worn it and you've already seen it on me but this bikini top is the one that I wore I actually because it was really hot that day that was like the longest day we'd spent outside in the sun myself and Grace went to the Revolve party and then we went into the festival at like three and usually we go in at like five when the sun's just about to set because it's so hot so I did a lot of sweating that day and a lot of tan and makeup got on it you can kind of see but it's still wearable it's still it's still fine it's more on the inside and then I paired that with the Annie shorts in the white which were so comfy so soft these were washed and they washed really well they didn't shrink and they're still perfect so they're a great investment for the summer I really can't recommend River Island denim more I love it if you watch any of my other hauls, I always recommend um, River Island denim. And if you're looking for white jeans, because it is still April, it's still probably a little bit early for shorts. White jeans for this time of the year go to River Island because they have the short leg, the regular leg and the long leg. And they're very affordable. They're 50 euro. I love the Mollies um, and the Amelies, I think. But yeah, sorry. That's enough about the denim. And then I paired that with this bag, which I just think is so cute. Very similar to like the Chloe bags, but obviously not even a tenth of the price. And this kimono, which is my absolute favourite. The way it flows is just so gorgeous. It'd be so nice even poolside over a bikini or over a swimsuit. But I think this could be equally something you'd wear on a night out with a black dress. The way it flows, it's just absolutely stunning. And it's sheer, it's light, it's very easy to pack and very easy to wear and easy to mix and match with so many different colours. I wore this with white but I saw that Sue wore it as well um so Sue me she wore it with black and it looked totally different and amazing on her so it is very versatile and a great great investment and I love that you've got the, the embellished detail on the sleeve as well just makes it extra pretty and you've got a tie around thing on the waist as well which is good because if you want to tie it okay, now we've got two more swimsuits let me just take this off the hanger to show you this one is kind of metallic cream and it's got a lovely belt i love these swimsuits with belts dino um anya and we wore what last year she launched her she's a blogger we were what um she she's a new york based her name's danielle she launched a swimmer line with anya and belts kind of featured throughout the collection and i was actually obsessed and i bought one of the swimsuits and they were so expensive it's by far the most i've ever spent on a swimsuit and I'm not joking, this isn't fair off it. It's it's one shoulder, so it's different. And obviously the, the design and stuff is different, but I just love it. I love the style. I think it's so chic. Like I just see myself, I don't know, on the El Mafi Ghost wearing this. I have no plans to go there, but I can picture it. And then this one is one of my absolute favorites. Such a nice fit. It's very hard to kind of see what it's like on the hanger, but it's like a wraparound detail. I personally love this color. I think it's gorgeous with the tan. And the material is quite thick, so you feel quite covered even though you're in a swimsuit. Um, this is part of their resort collection. So yeah, I really love those too. My second last outfit I'm going to show you, I'm not going to try this one on either because I've worn it before and I have it quite a while. This is a denim jumpsuit. This is actually a size 10. Um, I suppose because it's denim and it, it's full body, I kind of wanted a bit of space in it. You've got the belt detail, it's a boiler suit. It, you've got the kind of loose arms, so really flattering and really comfy. And I love the buttons. I just think the structure of this is so pretty, so cool, so edgy. And the colour is very different as well. So yeah, 
and that's still on the site so I'll link that below as well and then my last outfit is the one that I'm wearing um, this suede skirt is from O'Reilly and they actually have a matching suede jacket I love these A-line mini skirts I have so many of them in my wardrobe you probably have seen me wear them a million times I had one similar to this from O'Reilly a couple of years ago and I literally wore it to death I wore it to work so much it was a more um, it was more this kind of a colour like a I don't know ready pink than this colour but I just love this really comfy uh, really flattering really nice shape this jumper is one shoulder jumper as you can see and it's from Nasty Gal but um, I'll try and link something similar if this isn't still online I just thought this was a nice kind of casual spring summer outfit and then I do have a few other bits that I want to show you but I'm just not going to try them on because they're bikinis and I don't feel like getting into bikini right now but um this bikini is really cute I love the shape of these bottoms you've probably seen them all over Instagram so flattering the way they kind of sit up it's like I don't know they give you a different shape than normal bikinis do so I've tried to order a couple of bikinis like that for this summer and then this is a one shoulder I'll put in a picture of the model wearing this so you can imagine this is a one shoulder bikini it's not even a one shoulder it's kind of it ties up in the middle and goes over one shoulder but I love orange I love having bright colored bikinis because like most of the time for my clothes I keep it quite plain and quite safe but I suppose when you're poolside you can kind of wear whatever you want and sometimes colors look really nice not sometimes all the time bright colors look really nice at the time and then we've got this lemon bikini which I absolutely love and I just didn't get a chance to wear but I have I'm sure I'll have other trips this summer I have nothing nothing really planned yet I'm going to Amsterdam next month so maybe I'll bring this with me then um really flattering quite simple it goes back the straps go straight back over the shoulders which I love I love that you know rather than the classic halter neck bikini and you've got a small kind of ruffle details on the straps and the same on the briefs and I tried this on it is really really nice on I'm just not getting into a bikini right now because I'm just coming back from holidays and yeah I'm just not I'm not feeling it but these are the bottoms that actually go with the top that I wore at Coachella very cute as well I think everyone needs a nice white swimsuit or bikini for the summer in their summer wardrobe collection because it's nice with a tan and it looks gorgeous when you're on holidays and I love this little headband too I'm not gonna I don't want to put makeup on it now but isn't that cute like you kind of finish off any outfit with something like this or Royal and actually have loads of nice headbands and I'm almost done I swear you have seen me wear these throughout the whole sunglasses these are kind of a take on the classic aviator and then these ones are a little bit more funky they've got a yellow lens and they're a little bit more kind of oval so yeah that's everything as I said there was quite a lot to get through hopefully you enjoyed seeing the different summer bits the different spring bits I know that it's April now so people really are kind of starting to look forward to summer and starting to pick up things for their holidays and get things while they're in stock so hopefully you got some ideas from this and do let me know if you enjoyed it don't forget to click the like button and comment below and let me know which one was your favorite if you have any questions or what kind of hauls you'd like to see coming up on my channel because I definitely want to do what you want to see and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.